What's your favorite idea? Mine is being creative. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Institute. In my previous video, I used epoxy to protect the bead layer on top of this uh, hui chul bead art mask. And I just wanted to show you how hardy this is now that I've put that epoxy layer on it. So, I am picking away at where the beads should be weakest. They're not coming off there. They're not coming off there. And I'm pressing pretty hard. Uh, it is incredibly strong now incredibly hardy. So this has succeeded completely, but this was only really a test piece. What I really wanted to try this on was this. This is the uh, first piece of art that I got from Mexico. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. And it has the exact same problem as the other one. As you can see here, beads keep coming off. So we're going to try the epoxy on this one now. Now I have a new strategy. Uh, where previously I was trying to really slop on the epoxy, trying to maybe um, get like a, a solid coat over everything and have it smooth. I want the opposite now. I want to try to fill in all of these bead holes so it gets that multifaceted look. But at the same time, when I'm doing it, I want the layer to be as thin as possible so it still maintains the texture of the beads and you still get some of that glass shininess from the beads itself. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and let's start mixing up some epoxy. Now, last time, I had mixed up about 20 milliliters of epoxy to cover this entire mask. And if you can see here, if it auto-focuses, I only ended up using about maybe 5 to 7 milliliters of the epoxy itself, and the rest just sort of frozen here. So, I'm going to try mixing up about 30 milliliters this time, and we'll see if it has enough to cover this entire mask. And again, the epoxy we're using is just clear epoxy two-part mixture, has about a 40-minute work time, and I think that's pretty good for this. Gives you enough time to cover everything before it starts getting really sticky and gooey. So, I'll start mixing that up now. No time like the present. Let's begin. All right, we're 27 minutes and uh, 40 seconds in, and I think, I think I got everything. I'm trying to see anywhere I didn't fill in the spaces. The epoxy is starting to get really thick and really hard to spread, so uh, and there's barely any left in my cup. So I think that's as best as it's going to get. Be a bit more up top, but yeah, I think that's looking pretty good, and uh, we're going to have to see how it looks in the morning. Oh, maybe a little on the brow ridge here. The next day. All right, it is morning time. Let's see how it turned out. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Of course, we got some drippies around the, uh, the bottom of it. I put it up on top of this jar, so that way it all drips down. It doesn't stick to anything this time. 
200 IQ move. Uh, there we go. You can see the texture, the top of it there. So yeah, I'd say that worked out well, and I think it looks great. As you can see before, where the beads came off, they ain't coming off now. Same thing too. Nothing. Maybe scuffed a little bit of the epoxy on that close one there, but that's about it. Yeah, these are going nowhere. This worked perfectly. Um, I think I did make one mistake with it, and that's that I didn't make enough epoxy. By the time I was running out, it started to get really thick, really goopy, and uh, I don't think that was for the best. What I should have done is made about maybe a third or 50% more, and just slopped it all on as quickly as possible, because that way it would have been uh, the absolute runniest it can be and would have gotten between the beads and then I could have just painted it out over the rest. By the time I was getting to the parts around here and the parts down here, it was generally getting so thick it was actually hard to get it out of the container and then push it in between the beads. So I'd recommend using a bit more and just slopping it on well, uh, well it's as thin as possible directly after mixing because it's really going to thicken up on you. Also, in usual AliExpress style, one part of the label on here says 40-minute uh, work time, and the other label says a 30-minute work time. So, you know, yeah, what do you expect? You get what you pay for, and I didn't pay a whole lot, lot for it, so. Oh, well. But, still, great success. I think it looks great. And it is far more protected now to the point where if I put it on my desk and my coworkers come by and poke at it, they're not going to cause any of the beads to go missing, which is, of course, precisely what I wanted. So, yeah, I'd say this is great. All right, that's all for now. Like, share, subscribe, and until next time. Now let's all agree to never be creative again. Mm -hmm.